Hey guys, this is Dr. Nick Ravon. A frequent question that I get and multiple emails that I get throughout the week is that, you know, I've had a history of thyroid cancer and um, there was this lymph node in my neck. It looks very small. They're just waiting, watching to see what they should do with it. And I always like to answer the question with a case. So I'm about to present to you a case in which a patient presented to their office. It's a brand new case that we got. Uh, this patient is a 36-year-old delightful female who presented uh, with a history of thyroid cancer a few years back. And uh, upon examination, we didn't really find anything, and I insisted that we do a baseline ultrasound so I can see exactly what is going on here, and I want to present the case to you very shortly, okay? Hope you guys enjoy, and I hope to answer each question with the case. Thank you. This image, you can see actually the lymph node identified, which measures 0.38 centimeter. This is barely 4 millimeters in the history of thyroid cancer a few years back, period. So we decided to biopsy this patient's lymph node. You can see the needle is coming in from the lateral into the lymph node. And here you can see that the needle is penetrated into the lymph node. There's a very small area. The entire diameter is 0.38 centimeters. Here you can see the needle coming in from the lateral approach all the way into the lymph node, making several passes here. Uh, unfortunately, the biopsy sample came back consistent with papillary thyroid cancer, which uh, confirmed our suspicion regarding this here. Now our next step with this patient is to undergo a CT PET scan dedicated to the neck and the chest, making sure that there are no other uh, processes regarding metastatic because this is the only thing that we found here. Therefore, it was crucial to biopsy the small lymph node which was left behind during our initial first consultation, which is, explains why, how important it is to get this evaluated off the bat the very first time. And if the lymph node is the only one identified here, this patient would be a perfect candidate for the thyroid radiofrequency ablation. We will keep you posted on other patients' case and progression. Thank you so much.